everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. As always, I do want to start off today by saying a massive thank you for all of your support throughout this series. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you do want to continue supporting this series, do so by dropping a like. And if you want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or any of my Apex gaming PCs. Now, let's go ahead and check on some dudes real quick, shall we? Are you still here? Ah, oh, Water Kitty is still there. Not even name tag, guys. It's still here. <laughs> and then we've got Mr. Dinnerbone Enderman, or as I like to call him, Mr. Enderbone. Yeah, look at that. He's still up there. <laughs> So stupid, man. He's just got no places to teleport to, so it just stays up there permanently. Ah, oh, and here we are in our pet hut. We've got Jennifer. We've got Marmite. We've got Flo, Felix, and Floyd the Second. We've got our axolotl tank full of axolotls. Oh, it's a beautiful time. So, what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, here we are at the notice board. We've got decorate the super blast smelter, connect all project areas with pathways, Water Tower Town Entrances, and Water Tower Town Bay Area. I think we might begin on this one because I want to feel a little bit more immersed in my world and connecting all of our areas with nice looking pathways is definitely going to be a massive step towards achieving that. So today... I think we're going to work on this. And maybe if we have time, we might even work on this as well. Okay. Whoosh. It's a good thing that I decided to repair all of my tools before I began today's episode. Because holy smokes, would I have probably ran out of shovel. Because, yeah, we're going to be using a lot of it today, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a good amount of terraforming here. Oh, my goodness. What is with these guys? Look at them. Look at them. It's freaking hundreds of them. Whoa. Man, it's been a while since I've seen you guys, man. <laughs> There's a pillager patrol. Ah, oh, man, I was going to get on with some building today. But, high key, I kind of want to do a raid instead. Well, I've kind of made the decision now, haven't I, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, howdy, howdy. Wait, I should be using my axe for these guys. Ha! Hi yeah! Get freaking wrecked. Ha! Get wrecked. All right, we're going to do a raid. Sod it. All righty, guys. Well, let's try and be smart about this. We're going to go over to this little village here. And what I'm hoping we'll do is maybe get the villagers maybe safe inside a house or something. Oh, snappers. It's begun, guys. It's begun. Ha! Hey, yeah. Get wrecked. I have a sharpness five netherite axe. What have you got? That's right. A freaking crummy crossbow, which can't even have power on it. Oh, ho, ho, ho! That guy nearly one-shot me. Holy poop. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. I forgot the Vindicate is spawning amongst all these guys. Get out of here. Go on. Get. Get out of here. Bye. And, uh, yeah, I should probably do something here. There we go. Yeah. Netherite full armor. ba 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 all righty! Hey, what's going on, fellas? What is going down in Pillager Town? I'll tell you what's going on. Death! <laughs> hey, buddy! Ha! No! 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 Oh, God, they have arrived! Oh, boy. That's not cool. Ha! No, no, no. Hey there, buddy! Come on, I got power five! What do you got? A whopping great big body. That's what you got. Which means you're very easy to hit. Hey! Why don't you go ahead and freaking get out of here? All right, dead, dead. Oh, I'm going to set all of you guys on fire. Hey, Budski, what do you get over here? Hey, hey, no. You're not going to go ahead and freaking heal up your buddies. That's a big no-no. Wait, what just happened? Ah! Oh, God, he's there. I thought he went inside a house. Am I stupid? You know what? I'm going to go to sleep while a raid is going on because that's just what you do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I believe this iron golem is actually stuck. If I get rid of this block... Yeah! We got some assistance, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, dude, that actually gives me an idea for a future raid. We should literally just have iron golems versus an entire raid. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think that would be incredibly fun. Dude, that would be hella fun. Ha! Ah! Oh god, they spawned literally next to me! Holy mackerel! Oh man, does this look dangerous! Oh, <laughs> oh that's not very good, is it? Alright, uh, yeah, we need to, like, do ourselves a favor here. Can I, like, have a second just to eat up here real quick? Hey! Dead, 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 dead. Machine bow! Machine bow! Oh my god! 
you see the speed that that guy was running at? Holy mackerel. All right. Big evoker guy is going a little bit crazy. But, oh, my God. I can... What the hell? Ha! Oh, my God. I got him. Oh, he just got wrecked. <laughs> oh, snappers. All right. Wave number five. Uh, yeah, things are going to start getting a little bit tasty now, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Get wrecked. Oh, no. It's the Vex. Oh, Vex. Oh, wait. Did he even spawn any? I don't think he even spawned any Vex. What a dum-dum. You could have had me killed via doing that, but it was very, very slow. So, yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's a Vex. Oh, God. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, God. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Oh, God. He's riding them. What the devil? Oh, man. This has taken some uh, concentration here, guys. I assure you. Oh, my God. Okay, right. I think that was... Ah! Okay, that was another evoker taken out. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm not screaming like a little baby girl. Ah! No! Oh, the Vex! Ha! Ah! You get a small army of those guys, and you are in for a rough... Wow, that was a great shot, actually. <laughs> oh, dudes, we're near the end. Oh, there's one more. One more. Ah, there you are, son. All right. Oh, I think that's it. Yay! Ray victory! Suck on that, you bunch of turds! <laughs> and hey, guys, guess what? I didn't die throughout all of that. Not too bad. Five totems of undying from that event. That's not too bad. Now we only need 18 flesh to get ourselves an emerald. Okay, 18 sticks for an emerald. That's not too bad. Uh, everything else seems pretty normal in terms of price, though. Maybe we check on our librarians in just a hot second here, but I will check on the farmer real quick, which, of course, is where I get my little food supply from, my little golden carrot supply. There we have it. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, Seems pretty normal, to be honest with you. So I don't really think that there's going to be any trading going ahead here. Not unless the uh, bookshelves are now... Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, that's going to be a good way for us to get ourselves a bunch more emeralds. Simply by breaking these things all the way down, right? And then we can sell them back to the villager and get ourselves even more bookshelves. So we can finally rebuild the library freaking enchant area. There we are. Enchanting table made. So now we can finally fully restore the freaking enchant setup inside of the library. Well, we should have done this a long time ago, really, huh, guys? <laughs> Lighting this place up so we don't get a bunch of dudes spawn on us, especially those freaking pesky creeper brothers. No, 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 no. We don't want none of that, all right? So let's pop onto here, do the exact same, because I'm not having anything blow up, especially the maps, because if I lose the freaking formation of the maps, it's going to take me a freaking age to try and figure it out again. So, how about nah? Alrighty, guys. So, in terms of trying to plan out the pathways, we've already got a little bit done here, just outside of Droplet Village. So, that's sort of the natural valley entrance, and then we've got ourselves a nice pathway, which leads into Droplet Village and also past it. It goes all the way up until this little sort of crack inside of the side of this uh, mountain here, where it will eventually meet up with this nether portal. But ultimately, a pathway will lead from the nether portal here all the way up until the 00 area with the Pythian and all the various other bits and bobs down there. So I guess the first thing we need to do is try and figure out where we want the pathway to go. And the easiest way to plan out pathways is simply to do what I've already done. Just go ahead and dot down some stone blocks or something that's easily mineable uh, in the shape of of the eventual pathway, right? Now, a little bit of a side note, I think one of the things I would like to do around here is definitely smooth out this terrain because it just looks awful, doesn't it? It doesn't look very buildable, does it? You know, we've got like little mini cave entrances everywhere. We've got that going on. I wouldn't mind just trying to flatten it out, but at the same time, try to maintain the sort of natural look with all the little crests and hills everywhere, right? So, for example, this little mound here, we could adapt that, maybe make it into a little bit of a fountain or something. Something nice and easy, you know? But at the end of the day, I just want to flatten this out and make it look a bit more buildable. So we're now passing the torch point, which for those of you guys who remember, when we are going ahead and sticking around Droplet Village and the Water Tower mob farm, any area outside these torches is non-spawnable area for mobs because it's more than 128 blocks away, right? So yeah, any area outside this doesn't technically need to be lit up to increase the efficiency of the Water Tower mob farm. Any area inside it does need lighting up. 
So check it out, guys. Along the way, we've got a couple of little features which we could adapt into something. For example, this little pond here. We could totally do something with this. One of the things I've really tried to do in Minecraft in recent years is rather than just go ahead and cover up the various features around the world, we're going to try and adapt at least some of them. I mean, obviously, I mentioned that I was going to do a little bit of terraforming over in the mountains over there just to smooth things out. But when you've got little ponds like this, I definitely feel like they could be adapted into something something, you know? Make it into a nice little retreat or something. So we can have ourselves a little bit of a pond with pathways on either side and then at the back there's a little bit of a retreat. So you know, if we're feeling a little bit weary from our journeys or we need a quick place to sleep we could just freaking roll on in there, go to sleep and then be on our merry way, right? So that's the sort of, in air quotes, law that we're trying to go for in this world, you know? If we have ourselves like long journeys that we need to do and we need a little bit of a retreat, we've got little places where we could do that. We could have little kit stations all over the place, which has food and armor and various other wares inside of it, you know? That kind of stuff. But anyways, we follow this pathway on, and what do we find? We got ourselves a whopping great lake to the side of us, and this just screams for there to be some sort of fishing town to be made here, right? I mean, obviously, I'm well aware of the fact that we've still got the ocean near Droplet Village, which is where the bay area is going to go. Maybe the fishing village could go there instead, but if we're not going to make a fishing village here, then what? Leave your suggestions in the comments area down below. Low. I mean, I'd love to see your guys' suggestions regarding this lake here because I definitely feel like it could be made into something great. But anyways, continuing the pathway along here, we could go ahead, maybe sort of meander to the side here so we avoid this mound entirely. And then we sort of, I don't know, wrap back round so we are connecting up with the episode 100 house of epicness, right? So there we are, wrapping round. And there you have it. We've got ourselves a little bit of a pathway. So, two more things left to connect, of course. One of them being the Pythian itself. Let's go ahead and make a nice arrow dead straight pathway to there. Because I feel like that'd be a nice idea. There we are. Nice and easy like. Got all this going on. There we have it. All right. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing over there? <laughs> All right. And then what we need to do is try to connect the Super Blast Melter as well. Now, as the notice board suggested, we are indeed going to be going ahead and decorating this at some point in the hopefully near future. So that'd be a nice thing to take on and get done. But we're going to make this pathway come all the way down here. I'm probably going to do a little bit of terraforming here just to make the mountains seem a little less severe in slope you know? So yeah, we go down here, we maybe sort of, I don't know, hug the edge of the axolotl pond here, and then, very simply, connect it up with the straight pathway here. And there we have it. Guys, we have planned out the pathways and where they're going to go. Now, before we do anything, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get the Pythian refinished, guys. It's about freaking time, isn't it? So all of the copper that we mined up an episode or two ago, here it all is... Holy mackerel, we have a lot, don't we? <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off with one stack of copper blocks here. And we'll see if that's enough, basically. All right, so chuck it through here. There's the cut copper slabs. Ooh, in the meantime, look at this. There seems to be a bit of a cluster here, in fact, that's uh, weathered. Huh. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and see just how far we can get with this thing now. Random side note. A lot of you guys noticed this guy up here and have already named him Mountain Cow. So, yep, this guy's Mountain Cow. <laughs> Another guy who's probably going to be trapped there for the entirety of this world. That's now three folks who are now going to be trapped in their places for the entirety of the world. Water Kitty, Ender Bone, <laughs> and Mountain Cow. Ah, oh, you'll love to see it, guys. All right, well, here we are. We are, believe it or not, done. That is it. That is literally it, ladies and gents. We have this roof on. Oh, man. We still got a lot of copper remaining as well. Almost a full stack of cut copper slabs. And then we got all of these bad boys to do whatever we want with as well. Oh, man. We're going to need to make ourselves like a bulk storage area, huh? So, yeah. We've got stone everywhere. We've got cobblestone. Things that you get in massive bulk, I think, need an automatic storage area, right? So, yeah. Cobblestone, stone. Maybe granite, diorite, and andesite as well, potentially at a stretch. I mean, you don't really get them in bulk nowhere near as much as, let's say, stone and cobble, but 
as time goes on, you definitely do get a good amount of it, right? So, I don't know. Hmm. I think a bulk storage area is definitely needed because I can't bring myself to throw things away. I just can't. I'm a bit of a hoarder. I can't help it. You never know when you might need a massive bulk of stone and cobblestone, right? So, I don't know. Hang on a minute. Hey! I would have defeated one of you groups of buttheads today. I don't need to do it again, all right? I've already asserted my dominance. I don't need to do it again. I have nothing to prove. So, because we need something nice to look at for the episode thumbnail, I think what we're going to do to finish off today's episode is go ahead and work on the pathway and surrounding area for the episode one house, you know? We're going to go ahead and surround this thing with nice looking areas and pathways and various other bits of bobs, just so you guys get a kind of idea as to the sort of design we're going to be going for with this whole pathway system thing, right? So... Yeah, I mean, the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of terraforming, right? A little bit of landscaping, and then we'll start decorating this area. Ah, I just remembered. We've still got the nether portal down here as well, haven't we? Yeah, we need to go ahead and link that bad boy up and maybe decorate this cave at some point as well. So yeah, that could be something that's merely linked from like here or something, you know? All right, ladies and gents, we're getting pretty close to having the landscaping slash terraforming done here. We'll have ourselves a nice flat area to start decorating. I mean, yeah, this is looking pretty good, isn't it? And once all of it grasses over, it's going to look nice and natural as well, you know? Yeah, as if nobody's come along here and terraformed or landscaped. <laughs> all right, sweet. So, yeah, I must say, though, this area here is seeming a little bit on the thin side. I may need to go ahead and bulk this area up just a little bit. Maybe I just sort of, I don't know, bring the grass out here a little bit. Alright, so starting off here with the actual pathway surrounding the episode one house, and look at that. It's already starting to look kind of nice, isn't it? So we've got a little bit of area to play with on the inside in terms of decorating this area, and I've got a pretty good idea as to what I want to do. Maybe some sort of railing design, potentially even like a little bit of a stream surrounding this entire thing. Ooh, I kind of like that idea, actually. A little bit of a stream, a little bit of water. So with this back section here, we're going to continue on with the grass blocks and path blocks going underground here, leading up to the nether portal. Uh, where does this actually go? Oh, it does actually go into a cave system thingy. I mean, obviously, we've already explored it, but it was a long time ago, so I can't really remember it. Because, unfortunately, my memory has about the same duration as a goldfish's, maybe even worse. And just like that, we've got ourselves a nice little pathway going down here. Now, obviously, it's not been decorated, but you can see the potential here, right? <laughs> and then maybe we could go ahead and make some sort of, like, proper official mine entrance here. Maybe we just, like, put a bunch of cobblestone up and make it look like it's sort of caved in but there's a little bit hollowed out so you can actually get in you know i don't know maybe that's something we'll figure out in another episode but for now we're doing pretty good in terms of making progress here and there we have it a nice little pathway smoothly going down the gradient there and connecting up with the planned pathway over there okay sweet so now that all that is done we're going to go ahead and actually work on this area here pretty up a whole bunch and then we'll end it off for today Alrighty, guys so starting off with the little stream idea i was telling you guys about we're just going ahead and getting it all filled in right now and then we can start decorating the outskirts of it there we are yeah and a little bit of a trapdoor bridge just to get over <laughs> it's like we have a moat for our episode one base huh <laughs> oh i love it oh my god traveling merchant do you have drip leaf do you have drip leaf give me drip leaf what we got here red tulip gunpowder oh wow you are not very useful today, sir. One of these days, I'm going to get me some dripply from a traveling merchant. It will happen. Before 1.18, mark my words, it will happen. We will get dripply. It will happen, or I'm going to be very, very sad. Ah, beautiful new morning in Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. Check it out, my friends. This is what we've got going on so far. We've got a little stream going on, looking very, very nice. And basically, all we need to do now is just sort of bone meal the remaining sort of blank blocks around the place, right? We've got some on the inside to get bone milled as well. You know, around there, for example. That's about all I wanted to do here. 
Cool. All right, the only thing that I'm now aware of is the fact that this side, the pathway, is a little bit on the narrow side. In fact, it is here as well, isn't it? So I create a little bit of a stream just to make my episode one house look nice. And what does this guy do? He takes a dip in it. For goodness sake, man, what is wrong with you? <laughs> now, I think what I want to do for the edge here is simply bone meal a bunch of trees into existence. I think that would be a pretty nice way to go. So I think that means heading to our sawmill in Droplet Village, grabbing some slaplings and getting them planted down. Ah, you see? Look at this area starting to get built up a little bit, huh? We've got the Pythian with a nice entrance area. We've got the episode one house with a nice little surrounding area. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start randomizing some of these here slaplings. We'll put down some birch, maybe some more oak around here, maybe some more birch, maybe a couple birch in a row. Why not? And just for final touch, bone meal the ground just a little bit more here, and it will make this area look way more natural as if it was always here. All right, real quick, a couple of odd jobs just before this episode ends. Let's see how many slots these two guys have. Hey. Hey, that's not too bad, is it? All right, what about your friend here? Plop, and yay, three loads of slots. You know what? I'm actually going to keep you guys. I'm going to tie you up to the fences uh, here, because why not? <laughs> All right, and the last odd job we have is breeding these guys up for the episode. So let's go ahead and have you and you, and we'll have a pink one and not a pink one. Go on, do your breedy thing. Come on, I want to see what we get. What do we got? It's a pink one. Okay, of course. And a brown one. Okay, fair enough. And finally, of course, let's do the comment of the day. Yes, I am Razor, says Python. You should make a jungle and a swamp village. Love you, vids. Keep up your amazing content. Thank you so much for that, Razor. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you know what? It's always been on my mind, like on and off, something to do in Minecraft. I mean, you can get jungle skinned villages and swamp skinned villages but it's just not something i've ever tried to actively go for right so yeah i really like that idea but i guess what we need to try and do is find where our nearest swamp and jungle is i know where a jungle is but i don't know if it's the nearest jungle you know same with the uh, swamp biome wherever that is in the world you know we need to try and figure that stuff out first and if we are stuck for a project then we can go ahead and do one of those two because i think it'll be really really cool if we try to do like a project pokemon try to catch every single type of villager in the entire game including even i have to say nitwits because they do have unique skins for the different types of villages you know plains village savannah village snow village all that kind of stuff so yeah it could be really really cool if at some point we try to do a massive project pokemon catch every single type of villager in the entire game with every single skin it would be a tall order a hell of a tall order because it would mean transporting villagers from maybe thousands of blocks away to get ourselves an area where they all are so yeah <laughs> You get the idea that I'm going for, though, right? We just make ourselves like a big old area where every single villager resides and then we'll be good to go. So, yeah. What do you guys think? I think that'll be a really, really cool project for the very far future because, hell nah, I am not stressing myself out with that kind of stuff right now. Not when we don't really have a good way to transport villagers right now. But in the future, maybe we will have a good way. So for now, though, my friends, we're going to go ahead and end off today's episode. Being a bit of an all-rounder episode, hasn't it? We've done ourselves a raid, and we've also planned out a whole bunch of pathways that will link every single project area up together. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would head down below the video and drop me a like. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.